يا أيها الذين آمنوا إذا نودي للصلاة من يوم الجمعة فاسعوا إلى ذكر الله وذروا البيع ذلكم خير لكم إن كنتم تعلمون الحمد لله الذي يسر لعباده سبل الخيرات وسهل لهم طريق الجنات وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبد الله ورسوله اللهم صل وسلم وبارك على محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين وعلى من تبعهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين All praise is due to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who has made easy for his servants the ways to do righteous deeds and to attend paradise I bear witness that there is no deity to be worshipped except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who is one and only. And I also witness and bear witness that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is his servant and his messenger. I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that Allah bless your mercy and your blessings upon Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and his family and all his companions and all those Muslims who follow his path till the day of judgment. Amin thumma amin. My brothers and sisters, before I start this khutbah, I would like to read one ayah for you, which is a reminder for you and for me, which gives us the importance of our deeds in this our life. So let's first go and see what Allah says to all of us. Allah says in Surah Al-Baqarah chapter 2 verse 281, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying, وَاتَّقُوا يَوْمًا تُرْجَعُونَ فِيهِ إِلَى اللَّهِ Fear the day, fear the day where every one of us will return to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. ثُمَّ تُوَفَّى كُلُّ نَفْسٍ مَا كَسَبَتْ And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give everyone whatever the reward for whatever they have earned. وَهُمْ لَا يُظْلَمُونَ And nobody will be wronged. No injustice will be done. So there are three things we have to remember in this verse, which is uh, the main subject of our khutbah. Today our topic is that the deeds go with Iman. They cannot be separated. These deeds will decide for the believers whether he will be abiding in the Jannah forever or these deeds will decide the person be abiding in the hellfire. So Iman is not sufficient. Iman is incomplete without the deeds. And this is what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is confirming in this verse. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying that وَاتَّقُوا يَوْمًا تُرْجَعُونَ فِيهِ إِلَى اللَّهِ That every one of us, we have to remember this in our head. That one day we will stand in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So this life is a traveling, is a journey where we are heading towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. ثُمَّ تُوَفَّ كُلُّ نَفْسٍ مَا كَسَبَتْ And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give us complete, complete, complete reward or punishment for what we have earned in this dunya. Earning means what we have done in this dunya and what we have taken, done in a good way or a bad way. Everything that is collected in our account, Allah will judge accordingly and Allah will reward or punish us according to that. So this is the second point. And third thing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying, وَهُمْ لَا يُظْلَمُونَ It means that nobody will be treated unjustly. Which means if a person is deserving the Jannah, he will go to Jannah. Which means if a person deserves to go to hell, he will go to hell. And that will be not Allah's decision only without any proof. It will be Allah's decision based on what we have kasabat in this life. What we have earned in this life. Alhamdulillah. So now, let me tell you why I have chosen this topic. Pay attention. 
if we study the Quran and the Sunnah of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, we will find that there are certain people going into the hell. Kafir who rejected Allah, this Kafir will go to hell because of his kufr. Mushrik will go to Jahannam and because of his shirk, he will be abiding in the hellfire forever. Munafiq who was saying something with his mouth but his actions, his heart was opposite of that. So based on that, this person will also go to Jahannam. The other person is the fourth person. A person who will go to Jan Jahannam because of his deeds, but because of his faith, Iman, still after the punishment is done, this person will come back. Come out, he will come out of the Jahannam and then he will go to Jannah. So, this completely shows, clearly shows that our Iman is insufficient without the action. So this is my main focus and you have to put this in your mind that just by merely saying that you believe in Allah is not sufficient as some the deviant sects have believed. Some of the deviant sects as they have believed they are thinking that if you just say you believe in Allah that is sufficient you don't need you know acceptance or uh, believing in your heart and proving it with your actions and these are Maturudin, Ash'ariya, Murjiya, main is the Murjiya and there are different branches in them. So based on this our people of Ahlul Sunnah Wal Jama'ah they have rejected this and they have explained that Iman is Divided, divided into three sections and all these three sections should be together to believe, to make a person Iman, Mumin, bear with Iman. That is, Tazdiqun bil lisan, Iqrarun bil lisan, Tazdiqun bil qalb, wa amal bil jawarih. Again, Iqrarun bil lisan, a declaration with the words. Tazdiqun bil qalb, you have to believe it in your heart what you are saying. وَعَمَالٌ بِالْجَوَارِحِ And your actions according to what you believe and what you have declared. Bismillah. Alhamdulillah. So, coming to this main point. Those people who say only Iman is sufficient, then I can say to you, if that was sufficient, then why Iblis will go to Jahannam? He believed in Allah. He spoke with Allah. He lived with the angels. But he will be going into Jahannam because one of these three is missing in him. He disobeyed Allah. He, he said it with, with his words. He be, believed in Allah. But his action was not according to that because he disobeyed Allah. Same thing. If that was the case, if you st study the story of Salih alayhi salam with the people of Thamud. If you study the story of Hud alayhi salam with the people of Ad. If you study the st story of Musa alayhi salam with Fir'aun. These people, they, are not, they were not rejecting Allah. No, they all their argument was that the preaching which these prophets have brought, that was against their you know, personality. They didn't want to accept oneness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But they believed. Firaun even admitted just before the death that he is, he believes in the Lord of Musa and Harun But still they will go. Why? Because we have to believe Iman is declaration with the words, acceptance in the heart sincerely, truly and proving with the actions. So these things were missing. If we see the people of Makkah coming to the life of Prophet Muhammad Wasallam, people of Makkah were the same. What happened to them? Why they reject Rasulullah Because Rasulullah did not say don't believe in oh, you know, Allah. He didn't say that. He said don't believe in these gods. But they said that we believe in Allah. Also we believe in these gods. مَا نَعْبُدُهُمْ إِلَّا لِيُقَرِّبُونَ إِلَى اللَّهِ زُلْفَةِ We don't worship them. We take them as mediators because they can take us to Allah SWT. They are close to Allah. So this, were, this was their argument. 
and they were considering them as deities with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Otherwise, you can see Abu Lahab, he didn't say that, don't talk about oneness of Allah, but you are rejecting our courts. That's the reason we don't accept. His grandfather, Prophet's grandfather, Abdul Muttalib, when he had a discussion with Abraha, the one who came to destroy Kaaba, what did he say? Camels are mine, Kaaba belongs to Allah, he will look after it. So he believed in Allah. But they will, all these people, Abu Jahl, Abu Lahab, Abu Talib, Abdul Muttalib, all these people are going to go to hell. May Allah protect all of us from that. Just because they, had, they didn't have this criteria of declaration with the mouth. Abu Talib. He believed in his heart, but he didn't say with his words. So, he didn't prove it with his action. So, Iman is not accepted. Quran in Surah to Yusuf, verse 106, Allah says, وَمَا يُؤْمِنُوا أَكْثَرُهُمْ بِاللَّهِ إِلَّا وَهُمْ مُشْرِكُونَ People, they said that they believed in Allah. Now see, Allah is confirming that they believed in Allah. But they ended up, up as mushrikeen, idol worshippers. They associated partners with Allah. Allah speaks about munafiqeen. وَمِنَ النَّاسِ مَنْ يَقُولُ آمَنَّا بِاللَّهِ وَبِالْيَوْمِ الْآخِرِ وَمَا هُمْ بِمُؤْمِنِينَ يُخَادِعُونَ اللَّهَ وَالَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَمَا يَخْدَعُونَ إِلَّا أَنفُسُهُمْ وَمَا يَشْعُرُونَ فِي قُلُوبِهِمْ مَرَضٍ فَزَادَهُمُ اللَّهُ مَرَضًا وَلَهُمْ عَذَابٌ أَلِيمٌ بِمَا كَانُوا يَكْذِبُونَ See, this is very clear that Allah SWT has said the munafiqeen were believing in Allah. Also, they were believing in the last day, but that is with the words. And Allah has condemned that, that because of this saying with their words, with the mouth, they did not prove it with their actions, they did not believe it in their heart, and that is the reason they were munafiqeen and they will abide in the hellfire forever because of their lies. Lies to what? What they were saying, they were not applying it. They did not believe in the heart, they did not even prove it with their actions. And Allah has condemned in Surah Saf, لِمَا تَقُولُونَ مَا لَا تَفْعَلُونَ to the believers, Allah said, those who were saying that they were believers, Allah has proven to them that saying just Bismillah, Allah's name, that will not be sufficient. لِمَا تَقُولُونَ مَا لَا تَفْعَلُونَ كَبُورَ مَكْتًا عِنْدَ اللَّهِ أَنْ تَقُولُوا مَا لَا تَفْعَلُونَ That why you say, O oh believers, that you believe in Allah, and you say that you believe in Allah, but your actions are different than what you are saying. So the worst thing in the sight of Allah SWT is that what you say, you, uh, what you believe or what you say, your actions are against that. So this is what Allah SWT has confirmed. So now, inshallah, with many more verses, I'm going to explain to you that Iman is what? Iman is Iqrarun bil lisan, tasdiqun bil qalb, wa amal bil jawarih. That inshallah will come into the next part of the Jummah Khutbah. Aqulu qali hadha wa astaghfirullah li wa lakum. In Alhamdulillah, Nahmadu wa nusalli ala Rasulil Kareem, Amma Ba'd. In Surah Al-Hujrat, Allah SWT speaks about the Iman of the people who said with the Iqrarun bil lisan was there, Tasdiq bil qalb was not there, and the action has to come after that. And that is in Surah Al-Hujrat. Allah SWT says, Qalat al-Arabu, آمنا قل لم تؤمنوا ولكن قولوا أسلمنا ولما يدخل الإيمان في قلوبكم وإن تطيعوا الله ورسوله لا يلدكم من عمالكم شيئا إن الله غفور رحيم إنما المؤمنون الذين آمنوا بالله ورسوله ثم لم يرتابوا وجاهدوا بأموالهم وأنفسهم في سبيل الله أولئك هم الصادقون. تصديق in the heart. This is the best دليل. Allah سبحانه وتعالى is saying that the countryside Arabs they came to Rasulullah صلى الله عليه وسلم and they said we believe in Allah. Allah said no. 
Don't say that you believed in Allah. Just say that you have accepted, you have submitted your will to Allah's deen. You have accepted the deen just with your words. Why? وَلَمَّا يَدْخُلِ الْإِيمَانُ فِي قُلُوبِكُمْ Yet, Iman has not gone inside. That means the tasdiq umbil qalb is not there. Because it has to also be sincerely believed in your heart what you are saying. Why? See the third, second part. Which is after declaration with the verb, words, then accepting in the heart was not there. And also actions Allah is saying, وَإِن تُطِيعُ اللَّهَ وَرَسُولَهُ لَا يَلِيدْكُمْ مِنْ عَمَالِكُمْ شَيْئًا If you obey Allah, Shaitan did not obey Allah. Firaun did not obey Allah. Qawm Aad did not obey Allah. Qawm Thamud did not believe, uh, accepted Allah, uh, obeyed Allah. إِن تُطِيعُ اللَّهَ وَإِن تُطِيعُ اللَّهَ وَرَسُولَهُ لَا يَلِدْكُمْ مِنْ عَمَالِكُمْ شَيْئًا If you obey Allah and His Rasul, your deeds, even if it is little, Allah will accept it, Allah will reward you for that, it will be appreciated. In Allah Ghafurur Rahim, Allah SWT is oft forgiving and full of mercy. In Amal Confirmation, why? Because the Arabs, these were the stubborn Arabs, they should be, you know, given a strong argument. Allah said, إِنَّمَا الْمُؤْمِنُونَ الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا بِاللَّهِ وَرَسُولِهِ People, true Muslims, true believers are those who say that they believe in Allah, they believe in Rasul, ثُمَّ لَمْ يَرْتَابُوا and they don't doubt in their hearts. They don't doubt in their hearts. Verbal, declaration with the words, إِقْرَارٌ بِاللِّسَانِ وَتَزْدِقٌ بِالْقَلْبِ وَجَاهَدُوا بِأَمْوَالِهِمْ وَأَنفُسِهِمْ And they strived, they were struggling, they were applying in their life, what? فِي سَبِلِ اللَّهِ In the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they were living their life in Islam according to what? They were striving with their wealth in the form of zakat, sadaqat, helping poor, needy, looking after the families, وَأَنفُسِهِمْ And their own selves in the form of hajj, in the form of salah, in the form of uh, making the halal living with their own efforts. So Hajj, Zakat, Siyam, everything comes here, uh, come here, and it is in the form of actions. So, Tazdiqun Bil, Iqrarun Bil Lisan was Amanu Billahi wa Rasuli. Wallam Yartabu, Tazdiqun Bil Qalb, no doubt in the heart. Wa Amalun Bil Jawarih is these actions with your wealth and with yourself in the path of Allah. أُولَئِكَ هُمُ الصَّادِقُونَ They are the true believers. Confirmed. Your La ilaha illallah, Muhammad Rasulullah, has to go by this ayah. This is again Surah Al-Hujrat, verses 14 and 15. Allah says about the munafiqeen in chapter Al-Fatih, 48, verse 11. سَيَقُولُ لَكَ الْمُلَى مُخَلَّفُونَ مِنَ الْعَرَابِ شَغَلَتْنَا أَمْوَالُنَا وَأَهْلُنَا فَاسْتَغْفِرْ لَنَا يَقُولُونَ بِأَلْسِنَتِهِمْ مَا لَيْسَ فِي قُلُوبِهِمْ See? Declaration, اقرارٌ باللسان ولكن ليس تصديقٌ بالقلب سيقول لك المنا مخلفون من العراب These منافقين who came from the countryside they will say they didn't participate in the war, they remained behind, then they will come to you with what? شَغَلَتْنَا أَمْوَالُنَا وَأَهْلُنَا Oh, we got busy with our, you know, business, making money, in our, you know, the, whatever the, the living was there, we were busy with that, and also we were busy looking after the responsibilities of the families. First تَغْفِرْ لَنَا Ask Allah to forgive us. Allah says, O oh Muhammad, you may not know what is there in the hearts. You may just believe because they are they just come with their words to you. So you may believe that they are speaking the truth. They are just saying with their words, with their tongues. But what they have in the heart is different. It is not what they are saying, it is not there in the heart. So that means they are not speaking the truth. So again, confirmation. Declaration with the tongue and believing it sincerely in your heart. Then Allah says in Surah Al-Anfal, 
very clearly. Now these deviant groups, they say that Iman is like a rock, like a, you know, robot. It doesn't increase, doesn't decrease. It's, it's like a, you know, one thing, stable. Allah SWT says, no. إِنَّمَا الْمُؤْمِنُونَ الَّذِينَ إِذَا ذُكِرَ اللَّهِ وَجِلَتْ قُلُوبُهُمْ وَإِذَا تُلِيَتْ عَلَيْهِمْ آيَاتُهُ زَادَتْهُمْ إِمَانًا زَادَتْهُمْ إِمَانًا Iman has increased. Opposite of increase is decrease. So Iman can increase, Iman can decrease. This is what the ayah confirms. And this is the aqidah and the creed of Ahl Sunnah wal Jama'ah that good deeds will make your Iman increase and sin will decrease your Iman. And these people, they say, no, Iman has got nothing. So they don't have even the heart, and heart goes with the brain, and they don't have brain. So may Allah guide them. Amen. Allah says in Surah Al-Anfal, verses 2, 3, and 4, the true believers are those, when Allah is mentioned to them, their hearts start reacting. Allahu Akbar. And when the Quran is recited to them, their Iman increases. So their Iman increases when Allah's promises come, when Allah's warning is coming, when Allah's, you know, glad tidings are coming. So their Iman is, you know, flexible with increase and with decrease. And what they said with their words, what they believed in their hearts and their actions, they put their trust in Allah SWT after using all these three means. Again, actions. Actions with the body. They are those who establish the salah. And comes the wealth. And they also spend in the cause of Allah SWT from their wealth. They are the true believers. They are the true believers. It's not I, who, it's not I whom, who is saying this. Allah is saying this. لَهُمْ دَرَجَاتٌ عِنْدَ رَبِّهِمْ وَمَغْفِرَةٌ وَرِزْقٌ كَرِيمٌ For these people, on the Day of Judgment, as I read the first ayah, 281 of Surah Al-Baqarah, we will go back to Allah, Allah will reward us according to what we deserve. So, based on our actions. So Allah says, for these people, they will have great ranks with Allah, and mercy, and maghfirah, forgiveness from Allah, وَرِزْقٌ كَرِيمٌ and better provision, than the dunya, which is honored and respected and pure form of food, Allah will provide them in the Jannah. Surah Al-Anfa 234. Same verse is repeated in Surah Al-Anfa chapter 8 verse 74. وَالَّذِينَ وَجَاهَدُوا فِي سَبِيلِ اللَّهِ وَالَّذِينَ وَنَصَرُوا الْمُؤْمِنُونَ حَقًّا لَهُمْ وَرِزْقٌ كَرِيمٌ Yes, those people who believed in Allah, and they emigrated for the sake of Iman and fought in the cause of Allah. Again, actions, physical actions, sacrifices. And those who gave shelter and added it to those who are believers. Again, Muhajirun and Ansar, they both are mentioned here. They are the true believers, Allahu Akbar. For them is forgiveness and noble provision, Allahu Akbar. So with this, my brothers and sisters, let's see in the Quran. Now pay attention to this. In the Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has mentioned in 33 verses, surahs, 33 surahs, Allah has mentioned 52 times, Amanu wa amilu salihat. See, Iman and good deeds. And if you read the last, the surah, surah al-Asr, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying, what is he saying? وَالْعَصْرِ إِنَّ الْإِنسَانَ لَفِي خُسْرِ إِلَّا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَعَمِلُوا الصَّالِحَاتِ وَتَوَاسُوا بِالْحَقِّ وَتَوَاسُوا بِالصَّبْرِ The criteria for the people to be successful and not to be losers is that they believe in Allah and they do good deeds according to the teaching of Allah and His Rasul and they preach the truth and accept the truth when it comes to them and they bear patience and ask people to bear patience in their difficulties and hardship. Allahu Akbar. So this is the criteria. So 55 times, 52 times Allah has mentioned in the Quran, in 50, 33 surahs, that Iman goes with deeds. 
Now finally a few verses and I inshallah conclude the khutbah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has mentioned مَنْ عَمِلَ صَالِحًا مِنْ ذَكَرٍ وَأَوْ أُنْثَى وَهُوَ مُؤْمِنٌ فَلَنُحِيَنَّهُ حَيَاطًا طَيِّبًا وَلَنُجْزِيَنَّهُمْ أَجْرَهُمْ بِأَحْسَنِ مَا كَانُوا يَعْمَلُونَ مَنْ عَمِلَ صَالِحًا The one who, de who does good deeds مَنْ عَمِلَ who is doing good deeds in this life مِنْ ذَكَرٍ أَوْ أُنْثَى Amongst the men or amongst the women وَهُوَ مُؤْمِنٌ And this person is man or a woman is a believer إِقْرَارٌ بِالْلِسَانِ تَزْدِقٌ بِالْقَلْبِ عَمَالٌ بِالْجَوَارِحِ So Allah promises them. What is the promise of Allah? Allahu Akbar. This is the answer for the problems that we all have in this dunya. فَلَنُحِيَنَّهُ حَيَاتٌ طَيِّبًا That in this life we will give him pure and peaceful and easy life. وَلَنَجْزِيَنَّهُمْ أَجْرَهُمْ And on the day of judgment we will reward them Reward, نَجْزِيَنَّهُمْ We will give them the reward بِأَحْسَنِ مَا كَانُوا يَعْمَلُونَ Better than what they have done. Now what does this mean? In this dunya we have sadness. We get upset. Sometimes we are in hardship, difficulties. Allah is saying the believers will not have this in this dunya. And on the day of judgment, if they have prayed, if they have done, the, gave zakat, if they have fasted, or they have performed hajj, or they have done any good deed in their life, and whatever they are going to get according to that good deed, Allah will give them more. Allah Akbar. This is in Surah Al-Nahl, and the verse is 97. In Surah Al-Maidah, verse 9, Allah says, وَعَدَ اللَّهُ, وعد الله الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَعَمِلُوا صَالِحَاتِ لَهُمْ مَغْفِرَةٌ وَأَجْرٌ عَظِيمٌ Those people Allah has promised to the believers and who do good deeds, they, have, they will receive forgiveness from Allah and great reward from Allah on the Day of Judgment. Then Surah Al-Baqarah 82, وَالَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَعَمِلُوا الصَّالِحَاتِ أُولَٰئِكَ أَصْحَابُ الْجَنَّةِ هُمْ فِيَا خَالِدُ The final destination is the Jannah. Allah SWT is saying those people who believed in Allah and do good deeds, they are the people of the Jannah and they will be abiding in it forever. So my brothers and sisters, imagine if Iman is only with the mouth and it has got no impact on the heart, it doesn't have to be in the heart, it doesn't have to be with the actions, then why Rasulullah has said, الْإِيمَانُ بِدْعُمْ وَسَبْعُونَ شُعْبَةً Why did he say this? أَعْلَاهَا كَلِمَةُ لَا إِلَهَا لَلَّهِ إِنْ أَدْنَاهَا أَمَاتَةُ الْأَذَىٰ عَنِ الطَّرِيقِ وَالْحَيَاءُ شُعْبَةٌ مِنَ الْإِيمَانِ حديث صحيح مسلم Iman has got 70 plus branches 70 plus branches This, 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 this Salah, Siyam, Zakah, Hajj Speaking the truth, helping people, all that avoiding haram all these are branches of Iman, 70, to, 70 plus branches. The highest is this Iman. And the lowest is action, which is removing the harmful thing from the pavement or the passage where people are walking. So this shows Iman is what? Iqrarun bil lisan, declaration with the tongue. Tazdiqun bil qalb, accepting it in the heart, means whatever you are saying and believing, it should be from your heart. Wa amal bil jawarih, and fulfilling the branches of Iman. This is what Iman is. And this is what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has said in the Quran, this is what Allah has, Rasulullah has said in the hadith, that take out the person from the hell who has got la ilaha illallah, even to the size of an atom. So this is what? This person said La ilaha illallah with his mouth, believed in his heart, but Iman action wise he was little bit here and there, but he was not mushrik, he was not kafir, he was not munafiq, so he will take his punishment and then he will go to Jannah. Alhamdulillah. So my brothers and sisters, this is the Aqidah of Ahlul Sunnah wal Jama'ah and those people who are deviant groups, they will subhanAllah, if they don't repent in this life, they will go to Jahannam and we will be part of those people. So our Akidah is that what is Iman? Iqrarun bil lisan, declaration with the tongue, tazdiqun bil qalb, accepting in the heart, wa a'malun bil jawarih, and proving it with our actions. Alhamdulillah, pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that Allah give us tawfiq 
to believe, do what we say with our words. Amin thumma amin. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala ali Muhammad kama sallaita ala Ibrahim wa ala ali Ibrahim innaka hamidum majid. Allahumma barik ala Muhammad wa ala ali Muhammad kama barakta ala Ibrahim wa ala ali Ibrahim innaka hamidum majid. Waqim as-salah. يا أيها الذين آمنوا إذا نودي للصلاة من يوم الجمعة فاسعوا إلى ذكر الله وذروا البيع ذلكم خير لكم إن كنتم تعلمون 